Now you got to be careful with this thing that you said. If I didn't go deep enough into certain other thing, you have you guys have to be really careful about that. Not because you didn't go deep enough into it. You need to be careful that you go too deep. Sharisa actually, you know, she was on the phone or doing something, but she was having some communication and, and Sharisa just decided she was going to pull out some hot sauce and some salt and pepper <laughs> and, and spread it all over her feet. Um, but in fact, spread it on both of her feet and stick them both in her mouth right? <laughs> because she just gave away way too much, way <laughs> too much. Just said just way too much about stuff that she didn't even need to be talking about. That's mm -hmm. not what you're really there to do. And and then ultimately what ended up happening was she she lost the deal. I don't know if she lost it because of that, but there was just way too much she was just talking about. Mm. Right? So it's not about avoidance. That's not it. But sometimes you you hear me say it all the time. My motto is what? Keep it simple. Keep it right? simple. And you know, one thing I've learned when it comes to, you know, just you know, being able to explain things to people that are that want your help in moving forward. Uh, if you have a confused brain, someone on the other side of the conversation with a confused brain, a confused brain won't do anything. <laughs> right. You you have to keep it simple so that their brain can process it and just leave it at that simple thing. Because if you go too deep now, like they got stuff that isn't even relevant and they're trying to understand this and figure this out. And and you still trying to figure some of that stuff out yourself too. You don't need to talk about it, right? But you give them enough. So for instance, how many people are you looking to move in? Well, I said eight. Why? Because it's a four, four, four bedroom, um, four bedroom and two bath. And okay. Okay. I just, I just Who's went on the lease. Size. Who's on the lease? Who's signing the lease? It's gonna be me. So how many people are you moving in? Just me. It's just gonna be one person on the lease, John. I'm gonna be the only one on the lease. The only tenant on the lease. It's just going to be me. So this is the thing. He started out. I kept it. I kept it, you know, uh, basic. I answered um, the questions that he asked without, you know, going into other stuff. The only area where I think, you know, I might have uh, dropped the ball is saying five to eight. And I took a long time before responding by email because I wanted to be sure. Hey, Femi, do you just want to leave it at five? Just leave five or four or whatever or two. I wasn't sure what to do, but I just went ahead. I'm like, look, you, you this is one person. You have, you have to stay consistent with your template. What mm -hmm. is your template saying? I'm not moving in. I'm just going to use a place. I'm using the place because I have to host my clients who come in from out of town because while they're here on business for a few days temporarily, instead of sending them to a hotel, I like to host them as my guests. So nobody's going to be moving in. I'm not even going to be living there. I already have a beautiful place on this side of town. <clears throat> I need it. I, I'm looking for extra space to host my guests, my business clients. I'm sorry. When they fly in from out of town on business for a couple of days temporarily. That's it. So you're staying consistent with your message because if you start changing the message, now here's my brand, whether I'm doing it consciously or subconsciously, wait a minute. I just read this thing that she said, she's just going to be hosting. Now, wait, she's now saying she's going to be there with eight people that are going to be living there. Now, wait, those two things don't add up. Mm -hmm. um, how do I, like, which one is it? Now my brain is confused. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel that comfortable because I got a confused brain. I may not know why I don't feel comfortable, but subconsciously that's what's happening going on inside. So you have to stay consistent with your message. So every time you say it, it reinforces what your purpose is and what they're actually getting. And then on the subtle side, what they're also not getting because you're, what are they not getting? They're not getting anyone that's just anybody that's a local staying in their place. What they're not getting is just a normal tenant that's going to be giving them headaches. What they're not getting is someone that's here to try and sublet your place. What they're not getting is a situation where they got to be a landlord that's going around, running around, worrying about their place and worrying about tenants. These are subtle things they're not, they're not getting, right? These are the things that they don't want. They don't want people subletting. And what they're also not getting, so again, not just anyone leasing their space. Who are they getting? They're getting you that they get a chance to meet that that's on the ball. That's going to be great to work with. She did a great job implementing win-win. They don't know what win-win is, but 
you implemented it. She built great rapport. Like, I think I'm going to really like working with her. She's on the ball. I don't, I don't think she's going to be trying to turn my life upside down. I think she's going to be great to work with. I think I like her. I know she ain't doing no funny business. She's going to be hosting her guests, right, while they're here temporarily. So she's not subletting my place. So I'm not getting any of those things, even though she didn't say it. But right? the thing was that he, you know, he... uh he had frowned to that, the you know. So when he first responded, his question was, um, "Is this?" Um, I can't remember the word verbatim, the words verbatim, but um, is this you know like a Airbnb? He doesn't think okay. that the HOA would um, approve of it. Which okay. you know, with the tone of the language, you know, I was a bit relaxed because it seemed like personally he doesn't have a problem i guess he's just trying to you know um get paid for the townhouse or whatever but it's an issue with the hoa which which i've been running into quite a bit um and then the next question after that was i i, I answered that based on you know the information you gave us and then the next question was how many people uh will be moving in when i do move in and how long is the least term that I'm looking to do. Yeah, those and are that's pretty, why those are pretty standard set questions. But right. I mean, and you you said a couple quick things and and really this, you know, this kind of goes for everyone. Like if you just answer the questions, just answer them. Like those are easy questions. If this guy is telling you that the HOA is not is in an Airbnb, I would say, yes, Airbnb is one of the platforms we use to manage our guests when we come in from out of town, when they are come in from out of town on business. Mm -hmm. Boom. It, now, if the HOA won't allow it, then ain't nothing you can do. You ain't going to be trying to convince them or nothing. Like you're not, you shouldn't be trying to convince them anyway. If he didn't even mention, even if he did not mention HOA, you would still have answered that the same way. And then the mm -hmm. other is, it's still, it's just me that's going to be um, on the lease. So I'm the mm -hmm. only tenant. But as you know, um, as I mentioned, obviously you already answered the question. So you don't have to answer it again. You already mm -hmm. told him in the other answer, demands my guests when they come in from out of town. So, and as far as the number of people moving in, I'm the only tenant on the on the lease mm -hmm. okay boom that's one that's two and then there was the other thing uh, that's it um the other part was um how, how then, long and then the h and then the and would you say how, how long no i said that that was it those were the two main yeah. ones and then if you meant and then the hoa i would say i would just say oh and by the way in the event the hoa you know if there's an hoa if they don't allow that i understand if you want to check in do it and get back to me. Let me know. That'd be great. Boom. That's it. Keep moving because you can't hang out with him forever. If mm -hmm. the HOA can't do anything, if he's excited, you know, you didn't just close the door. You answer this question and say, you know, it, it'd be something that would, you know, I'd love to be able to, your place really seems to, to fit, you know, fit um, to be a great fit. Mm -hmm. But if the HOA will have an issue with me using the place to host my guests and my clients, then I, I understand However, if, if you do some more research and find that that isn't the case, let me know. I'd love to, and then you just keep moving. So you, so you kept the door open, but you kept moving. You can't convince him, you can't change the HOA, either one, but you never know. Maybe he's just kind of saying that because he wanted to, you know, I don't know, maybe he didn't want to be the bad guy to say no, who knows? Mm -hmm. But the way you respond, if you respond with good answers that are to the point, that aren't trying to sugarcoat anything, but aren't going too deep into anything either, is boom, answering his questions, then he may say, you know what? Like she didn't try to hide anything. She's good, like she's telling me. She was very consistent with the first message that she sent out. She's pretty to the point. Like I don't see any reason, like I'm not gonna make up this HOA thing. Um, let me just, or maybe the fact that I did, let me just tell her, no, I think actually the HOA should be fine.